is a 50 mil, two and a half mil thick angle, and that provides the anchoring point for the actuator. The top frame is 20 mil, 1.6 mil thick steel. That was MIG welded to, to these corner parts. That part was quite easy. Never welded before, but the bit of fun, it was a bit like soldering in a way. And after a few attempts, got a bit of the hang of it. The frame, I laid the frame out on the workshop floor and took time to make accurate measurements so that it was exactly 60 degrees. Just going around with the tape measure, making sure things were equal in each of the corners. This back bar, which provides extra stability towards the back of the top platform, the position of this is actually fairly critical because the, uh, the seat may not be able to move back far enough to get to your controls. My advice would be if you're making one of these is to get the chair with the placement of this bar and uh, these uh, front brakes uh, put it together before you start welding and uh, making final cuts. I added these, I added this back area for the headset and the headphones so that once I'm sitting in the seat I can just reach around and get them and I put some uh, anti-slip rubber uh, to prevent them getting scratched. The seat is bolted four bolts to this base. These corner braces were added for extra stability. This is actually eight mil aluminium. Could have been timber, but I actually had a piece of this. And this was screwed through with M10 uh, stainless steel screws. Uh, into the frame to give it extra stability if it was going to be used for example with a racing simulator or especially rally rally simulator which really will test this thing out all joints have a m6 bolt through them as you can see on this one here just to give a kind of an insurance with my welding they were fairly easy to add during the construction phase i left the front braces a little bit longer the idea was that at some point i might need to add something in front of the simulator perhaps to, for the a yoke or a steering wheel so i left them a little bit longer that will give me a mounting point because the helicopter controls were had some fixed dimensions it was a bit difficult to work with in this on the platform i ended up putting on a 25 mil backboard and moving the pedals as far forward as I could. There's not really much you can do with that dimension. And the helicopter cyclic has got full motion except for a very small amount forward when it will hit that top bar. Uh, it's right at the end of its travel. There's a, an additional bar which was added for stability with the weight of your legs and uh, feet on that bottom, bottom part there. And you can see that I've been going to remake the uh, foot rest because the angle of my foot on the pedals is too acute and uh, trying to make a slightly different arrangement there. The winglets were added for things like joysticks which can be rested upon them. The winglets, um, it's made out of ply. Underneath the platform there's this uh, small table if you like uh, and it joins to a step. The step provides the way of getting onto the seat and it has these metal stays which provide some lateral stability and the timber provides the vertical stability.